hi guys so um today i'm going to actually teach you um this particular software by name pexat now pexat is one of the best so far i i i can guarantee it's one of the best apps that most people find it difficult using them and i'm going to take you through the essentials and I'm, i try that it's going to be of help to you okay so you open your pexat app like this now pexat actually work in both portrait and landscape but on the startup whatever way you do it you're not going to get the portrait from unless you go to the working area so when you open pixar this is your interface and pixar is actually both online and offline so realize that there's nothing working in here okay now the next thing is that um we have two versions we have the paid version and the free version with the free version there are some features you cannot have access to them but then with the paid version you can have so you could see you might you might see a lot of things that i'll be using but then it will not be applicable to everybody yes so take note of that now when you open pixel like this so you, you cannot get the portrait i mean the landscape mode so this is where you you want to start your work okay so for example if you want to edit an image directly okay then you just just pick maybe this one pick it like this then you can start working on it and see what you can do with it like that that is if you want to work on it then straight up you do it and you are on your way that is another way to start a work then the next way you can do is to we have this collage if you want to do a collage so you just come to grades <coughs> then you come to select some images to use yes then it will create a simple collage for you so how you want it to be and i mean if you want a background for the collage and yes everything is in there if you want some borders around it and <laughs> you can tweak it and work on it okay so for example this is my working area when i turn it you realize that the landscape mode is activated in here what i talked about that is you are on the working area when i click on the back button automatically it changes to portrait okay yes so another thing that's another way to start your work on pixart is the you can start with take a picture so you just take this one yes so so another way you can start your work is the camera so open your camera in here then i mean you can start working in something like that whatever thing you want to do <laughs> like that so for example you take a picture of yourself like this then you can just click on that image then you can start working with it and do whatever thing you want to do with it okay the next way to also use i mean picks or start the work is come to the drawing so drawings allows you to actually either you create a new canvas or you pick one for yourself for example when you select create new so click on create new so it start like that automatic something for you to start working on which to me is not the best yes because this might not be the exact thing you want to work on but then they automatically select it for you so i don't recommend this type for you okay so what you can do is then the best thing to do is come to pick canvas pick canvas you click on pick canvas then you have a lot of i mean canvas sizes so we have the screen that is the the one they gave us that is if, if you are using it for a uh, youtube stories you, this is the recommended one for youtube stories we have facebook cover in here we have i mean insta square in here we have other ones in here we have other ones in here and we have this one which is best for i mean youtube thumbnails yep yeah youtube thumbnails and i mean 1080p videos something like that you need this kind of dimension to work with so um you just select the canvas you need when you are done it has been picked don't worry yourself clicking on this one this will do you nothing and when you click when you see you have the rotation button in there so when you click on it it will rotate 
you click on it to rotate like that so landscape sorry portrait landscape portrait landscape so portrait landscape portrait landscape so that is how it works so you just select this one then you click on this red one it, it, it indicates that okay so just click on it like that then you are good to go so now your canvas has been open for you okay now so you can start working with i mean your app so this is the first thing to know how to start a project okay now after getting the project what's next let me take you through we have a lot of tools in here i'm going to take you through them one by one so this tool is the layers panel in here as we have it in pixel lab yes Pixel lab is so far the best <laughs> uh, yes so far i think uh aside pixel pixel lab is good it's very very good and powerful and when you use the two of them i mean simultaneously it helps you as a graphic designer yes so i have all this in here um so this is my layers panel look at something i just come in here click on this eye icon then nothing is seen i click back on it again you see something so what is that this actually allows you to hide or make your layer visible when the layer is hidden you cannot work on it yes because like that okay so it is not advisable to work on a hidden layer you, it's not advisable to work on a hidden layer it's not advisable so you are writing but nothing is working why because it is, it's been hidden okay so it's not advisable why because there's nothing you can do on it you can't do anything now someone will say that why is it that this one is open but i'm writing nothing is working it is so because it has not been selected so before you work on any layer you have to make sure that the layer is selected now when the layer is selected you see that the entire layer will be some kind of gray color that shows that it has been selected that shows that it has been selected so for example i, I click on this one then we see that it is selected okay so now i'm still on the layers panel someone will say that what if i want that one okay le let me add okay you let go let's go on here i want to make sure that this one is down what do i do it's simple that is you want to drag it okay so you click and hold it then you move it up so okay this one is somehow difficult sometimes so click and hold it then you can drag i don't know why it's not working i don't know uh, it, sh it should work it should work i don't know but then probably it's going to work let me add another layer i had wanted but i was thinking of <coughs> something different but you le let me let me just add it yes i was still explaining so don't worry yes i was i was still explaining so click on this one then oh my goodness i don't know why it is not it is it should be able to i mean be dragged yes okay i'm still working on it all right all right so you click and hold and start dragging click and hold and start dragging like that but then comparing this to pixel lab uh, you realize that pixel lab is very very handy when it comes to dragging layers so that is that for this one okay then let me go back on this same working area we have the this i mean brain icon probably if you are someone who have been using laptops you've been using a lot of mobile apps you know that this actually deals with deleting okay so for example I have this layer in here i want to make sure that it is off what do i do that is a selected layer what do i do i just select it and click on it it's off now it's not that when you click on it it deletes something like that for example let me add okay let me go back in here select this layer um i'll come back i'll go to them so don't let that be a problem i'll i'll go to all of them so we just i stay cool and 
look at what I'm, I'm going to do right now okay so i have this one okay when i click on delete you realize that it takes off the layer not what i'm working on so take note take a very good note of it when i did that um let me come in here let me fill it <laughs> i'll teach you everything so don't worry at all okay when i did this okay then see the layer is off but the exact thing that i've drawn is still there so how do i actually undo this kind of work so um you just come in here you draw the thing in here like this and you don't need it so what you have to do is that you come to the eraser this thing oh my goodness let me come back so that you see what i'm doing clearly let me change the color all right so so for example i don't need this shape what do i do click on this i'll come back to them so don't worry then oh sorry let me come back a bit come back a bit i don't need so i just click on it here like that then it is off if i need it back click on here then it is back now there is two different things to know about it again okay for example when you click this the layer is going to be off it's going to be off cry like that okay so when it comes to deleting this one actually work more off the layers panel then if you want to undo something you've drawn then come to deal with the undo and redo stuff okay so that is about the delete button so the next to talk about is this three dots in here now when you click on it there are three i uh, four things that comes we have the transform the copy we have the mesh and clear so click on clear <laughs> everything is up like that so come in here clear everything is off like that there's nothing written here okay so off like that nothing is in here so it's that is the clear then um let's say someone want to actually do this one so let me select one shape in here just draw something oh my goodness no 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 let that one be off off this let that one be off this layer should be off this layer should be off okay all right so now i want to do something in here i come in here i just get a shape cancel come in here cancel let me use this pencils to draw something i have this all right so I just draw this okay now i want to do some stuff in here so what do i do that's the transform. So when you click on transform, look at something. Click on transform. Okay. So when you click on transform, these tools are going to these options are going to come. Before you start working on them. Okay, so we have you see <laughs> like that. Okay. So for example, this click on okay. So you've you've transformed the layer. Okay. Now, what if you want to actually make a copy of it? So, still the layer selected. Come in here. Then, click on copy. So, you click on copy. Now, when you click on copy, you've gotten two copies of it. Then, you just select the next one. Come in here. So, transform. Then, you make sure that it is being placed. No 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 all right okay that is cool that is cool like that so you you've you've actually changed it yes so that is the tools and another tool to work on is the merge so it allows you to merge i mean one or two 
selected uh, layers you make them and work on them together so that is a little bit about the layers panel in here now there is this icon what does that when you click on it it allows you to either insert an empty layer and a photo layer a photo layer means that when you when you click on it it's going to direct you straight out to a picture then you import it so for example i click on photo layer then i just come in here um just take my take this one then straight up it will just be placed there like that no nothing it will just be placed there like that that's a photo layer a photo layer now the photo layer will not allow you to actually do some things okay so for example i come in here an empty layer then you come to i mean this side add image and click on photo so when i click on photo if i select this one and i bring it on board i also have the chance to actually tweak it and i want it to be enlarged or i want it to be small it will still give me that chance to do it until i am done and i click outside it when i click outside it that is why i cannot do anything with it again i mean when it comes to tweaking it i have nothing to do with it again so the difference between a photo layer and clicking to add a photo is that with a photo layer it plays the image direct without you tweaking it making any changes to it again but then when it comes to the i mean the add photo option it allows you to tweak it even on the canvas that you are working on so that is that on that then um we come to the next two which is the shape tool this tool actually allows you to draw shapes so when you click on it okay i have a lot of shapes in here so you can pick any of these shapes and draw them now when you select it we have panels to actually take note of okay we have panels to take note of now when you click on it we have the size and that is when you're using a stroke yes so we have two options either you want a stroke or a few if it is a few this i mean adjustment panel is not going to be active because it's not i mean useful for a few so when i select stroke you realize that it is active so how how large do you want the stroke to be okay so for example i want i want a stroked i mean square or rectangle whatever okay so i just click on it um change the color this is where you can change the color okay then just drag you see you can you are seeing what you are doing so this then you are done you can still enlarge or make it small like that until you click outside then there's nothing you can do to it again anytime you try to do anything you draw a new a new circle how because it is active for that purpose okay so let me come back and delete them okay then still on the shapes in here so we have actually we have rounded i mean rectangle photoshop users you understand what i'm talking about and those who did my pixel art class you understand what i'm talking about so rounded twist in here okay someone asks now why, why am i not adding fill so come in here and um, just come come to this i mean circle then you come to fill then okay so you just drag in so how, how how you want it to be oh my goodness i've made a mistake so so it depends on how you want it to be okay so for example you see how what i'm doing so now which means that in this sense it's it's it's, it's somehow because for example when i draw this and i want this thing for it i want a stroke for it for example i want a white stroke for it what i i would do is that after doing this one i come back in here again select this change the color make it white sorry make make change the color make it red then i draw sorry for that so just i make a copy of it like that 
then this one oh shit oh, no, no 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 sorry sorry for that mistake sorry very sorry so you just come back in here get a shape then you draw another shape and you make sure that it is a similar thing to what you first draw so that the ratio will be much proportional so it will take some bit of time okay so now realize that it's not so it's not that apt but it's cool it's cool so now the white become your stroke it becomes your stroke like that it becomes your stroke so let's take note of that and still on that panel as well we have other shapes though you can be trying your hands on them yes you can be trying your hands on them it's very very handy and useful as well very very handy and useful very handy and useful very handy and useful very very handy okay then the next tool to go to is the text tool now this allows you to write the text by dragging so for example i just write cvr call oh my goodness <laughs> cvr courses so cvr courses um those of you who have not subscribed to my channel do well and subscribe to the channel okay so we can work well so i just click on it and it is actually writing so <laughs> very very simple and very very handy so so look at something um let me come in here uh then, then get this one this bring it in here make sure that it covers everything covers the whole canvas sure like this all right then get um click on this layer then There's anything I want to do on it, so I just come in here and um, select the text in here. So now, when you are drawing the text, there are some things to take note of. Yes, now this what you can do you can change the color of the text you are using. Yes, you can change the color, you can also change the font size. Okay, you can also change the font size can change the font size then you can select any font of your choice to in here so so there are a lot of things that you can do with this just enjoy yourself and <laughs> do some things on your own like that okay then we come to the eraser i i showed you the eraser so we have the brush and so eraser actually work with the brush too okay these two these are the two so so for example i add a new panel a new layer i take my sorry take my brush and i selected this brush and make it a little big and i drill this i don't need it again what do i do i come back in here select the brush tool again and i get rid of it it's more on the brushes now the brush you can adjust is the hardness that is when you're using photoshop for example you can adjust the hardness of your brush yes now someone is asking that why all this don't worry about them i'll be doing tutorials on it so that you can it can be useful to you how to be using them this is to take you through everything you want to know about it because pixart is something that normally when you watch tutorials probably you don't actually get it you have to get the fundamentals when you get the fundamentals and even they are doing it at least you have some kind of idea okay so don't worry about it we are going we have a journey that we're moving in through and remember everything is free the only way you are supporting this 
is i mean just subscribing to the channel and telling people about what i'm doing so that they can also come and subscribe and also be part of this community so that is that with the two uh, i think i'm done i'm not done <laughs> i know so the next one is the i mean this in here it allows you to get any choose any color of your choice and that is to fill the i mean the layer if, if you want to fill it straight up like that and when you click this side okay it actually gives you the blending option so you have the multiply the lighting the darken the screen the exhaust the add the overlays and we are going to work with them we are going to do massive crazy designs with them i tell you i, I have a lot of things to teach you people I have a lot I have a lot to teach yes so that is that on those oh Oh, wow so i'm done with this part okay then you come to this part you click in here um it, it says new savers i won't go to that for now then also um this one allows you to actually export what you've done as a video i won't do that then this one to also allows you that you want to work in full screen mode oh that's but there's no need to work in a full screen mode or oh, come back then this one probably will send you back <laughs> to i mean everything so i've clicked on it and it is sending me back nothing i've been saved it's uh, it have been saved for you there like that so you can just click on it and come back and work on it okay so like this it saves it automatically as a project okay so that you can just click on it and i mean realize that it saves it it saves it for you <laughs> let me go back save it for you so you just click on it and you can start working on them so this is the actually the practical area not i'm not saying some parts are not but this is the first stage then when you are done <laughs> then you click on this arrow okay when you click on it we have two pop-ups take note of it when you click on save and share it means that what you've done here you are okay with it and you are going to end everything but that should not be the case so you are in that will depend on you so for example you want to continue editing because <clears throat> we are going to a place that you can add some i mean fx's when i talk of fx some effects yes so you click on this then you click on edit image so what everything you've done have been saved then you come in here to continue editing now to come here and continue editing i'm going to tell you one two three things and i'll end here i'll do a video that will be the part two of it so that that one will cover the effect panel but then on your own you can go through them but it is bunch i'll i'll, I'll tell you all these two I have to get my time and explain them for you and I'll do my best. I'll explain everything. The curves, the stretch, the enhance, the rotate, the resize, the perspective, the tilt. Um come to you when you come in here. There is a lot, a lot are in here. And in the part two, I'm going to take my time to walk you through everything step by step, how to move backgrounds. <sighs> let me let me shock you right, right now here so that you you appreciate this app very well let me shock you one here let me pick one image and do something to let you love the app yes i i want you to love it right now because it is a very very powerful app i tell you yes it's a very very powerful app so now let me take this girl this nice lady okay so <laughs> i take this picture now look at something i want to remove the background of this image i just come in here so just come to cut out in here look at something just click on person look at what it's going to do it is going to select it on its own like that for you <laughs> then you just proceed so look at something i click on save now there is you can tweak it more for example when you zoom in where we realize that i mean there is some parts that need to be added so i just come in here click on my brush and i can add it yes 
you go deeper into it so don't worry yeah okay click on save look at what is going to happen <laughs> away so what you do is that <laughs> just i mean i'm maybe teaching you people but that would be i mean for next i mean when you continue um it will be for that one so don't worry at all yes so, no no i don't need this image <laughs> see what they made they brought no 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 coming I, I want i want to select the real image okay so uh, like this all right so just no so just make sure that the image is some kind of blurry then we put the image in here so amazing and there is a lot that you can do with this app thank you very much for watching this video please do well and subscribe to the channel and share the video to your friends share let people come and learn it for free i normally i have a paid course in there the amount is a uh, 30 cities that one is, is a six hour course on pixel lab yes and i'll, I'll be actually doing I hand in hand the pixel lab and the pixels. I'll be working hand in hand with them. Yes, with, with that one, I've, I've had an intensive course on it. It's six hours plus. I've updated it so it is six hours plus. You can contact me on WhatsApp. It is 30 Ghana cities. You just purchase it and learn it. Okay, it's going to help you. It's going to, people bought the course and it's working for them. Normally, I people have been doing it. Yes. 15 to the 10 days and others is i know but everybody have his way of teaching i've actually paid money to someone i paid 15 cities i just wanted to know how they do the course and it was i don't want to talk anything but then the course is that's gonna say this if you're interested you can contact me then i give you the course but then if you're still not interested then you can just stick to this tutorial because it's good this ones only can help you without the pixel app but then when when you get to know the two, it helps you a lot. Yes, so you can decide to just stick to Pixar, and I'm going to help you. I'm going to take you through everything step by step. Thank you, and see you in my next video. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you.